nothing malicious about it, but under the present system that people talk up their case, and it all just falls apart in court when that happens. You know. okay, thank you. But Tier case has uh, obviously highlighted the you know, potential dangers of uh, litigants uh, uh, adopting the sort of practice that we envisage of uh, the, the medical people working with the lawyers. It's, um, and and that, that would arise under a number of other headings, as I see it. Uh, Robert Brown. Um, yes, yeah, so just two, two brief questions for me. First of all, it, it struck me listening to some of the examples that the Law Society, after that consultation, could probably give us written guidance following on this, um, and maybe after consideration of the examples where business models might be appropriate, some of the ones you've talked about, and more particularly perhaps where they wouldn't be and some of the issues we should be aware of. I think the flavour of that would be very useful if you're able to give a bit of thought to that perhaps after the session today. Uh, but the other point was just on the, on the question of market failure. Um, social law, I think, is often regarded as an area of difficulty. There. I suspect that it's not greatly affected by the bill if the citizens of ICE Bureau, law centres or whatever uh, are doing these kind of things. But I think um, an area where lawyers perhaps find difficulty making a profit from it, or perhaps even more so, don't actually have the expertise in some of these areas uh, for, for many people, immigration, housing law, social welfare. I wonder if you have anything to add about the context of or the implications of the bill uh, for that sort of area. I, I, I don't think, in some ways, I don't think the bill really impacts on, 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 on of that. We, we, we think the issues that you raise are, are very, very, very serious issues. We're not in any doubt that there are significant access to justice issues. There is, a, there is a regulatory objective here that says that, you know, to promote access to justice, but we, 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 we don't in some ways think you can promote access to justice by market forces. We, we think there are wider issues. One of the things that we're, we're going to do um, in February, and this has been done independently of this legislation, is that we propose to have what we've described as a summit where we will try and get everybody around the table and that doesn't, isn't just the Law Society, it is Citizens Advice Scotland, it is the charities who give legal advice such as Shelter, um, it might involve the big um, public interest law firms, um, some of whom you, the, 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 you'll be aware of, but also the judiciary and the Scottish Court Service, because a lot of these access to justice issues are not just about access to lawyers, it's also about processes that put people off um, accessing the system. We are, it's no secret, huge partisans of the Guild Review, um, and, and we think the Guild Review deals with a number of these issues. Um, but, but we, we basically, we're going to try and get everybody into the one place. But there is, a, there is quite a fundamental issue here. The, the, the traditional 1949 legal aid model assumed that high street firms, if you walked in off the street, would be prepared to do any kind of legal case. The reality is, is the law has become more specialised in their own interests. The firms don't have the expertise. And in some ways, because people now practise defensive law, there's an element of there's a danger of taking a case on if you don't know what to do with it, because you're more likely to end up with a claim or a client complaint. And the easy option is just to turn the business away, particularly when it's not profitable work, or marginally profitable work in any event. So that does need to be worked through. We, 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 we've been in, we would commend, um, the, there was a strategic review just done just before the, 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 the election, which we were broadly supportive of the conclusions that that, that, that reached in at least a lot of the social welfare law. It wasn't um, shelved by the, the, the new administration when they came in. They simply said it was a matter they would take under review. We understand that they are in the process of coming back to revisit that, and, and we would encourage them to do that. We know that the Minister, the Prince, not, not the Minister in charge of this bill, but the Justice Minister himself is very concerned about these issues about access to justice, and, and uh, as indeed are we. Thank you. Mr Smart, uh, the committee is extremely grateful to you and your colleagues for coming this morning. That has been an extremely useful evidence session. The committee will spend, suspend briefly whilst the witness panel changes. Christmas. <laughs>